Hello, I'm Josiah Martin, arts and entertainment staff writer at the Duquesne Duke. This past Sunday, the 68th annual Primetime Emmy Awards aired on ABC, hosted by Jimmy Kimmel. The Emmy Awards were a star-studded event and were, as usual, a big night for television. But apparently, very few people watched them. Nielsen Media Research reported that only 11.3 million people tuned into the awards, which may sound like a lot, but that's down half a million from last year, and down almost 4.3 million from the year before that, where NBC drew 15.59 million viewers. So I set out for AWOC today to see if Duquesne students had anything to say about the awards, or if they had even watched them at all. What is your name? Owen. Owen? Yeah. Owen, did you watch the Emmy Awards this past Sunday? No. What is your name? Chloe Mortensen. It's nice to meet you, Chloe. Did you watch the Emmy Awards this past Sunday? I did not. What is your name? Liz. Liz, did you watch the Emmy Awards this past Sunday? No. What is your name? Neek. Neek? And did you watch the Emmy Awards this past Sunday? No, I have not, no. Did you hear anything about the Emmy Awards? No, I think it's an award show. My name is Chris. Did you watch the Emmy Awards this past Sunday? No. Did you hear anything about the Emmy Awards this past Sunday? No. What is your name? Noah. Nice to meet you, Noah. Did you watch the Emmy Awards this past Sunday? I did not. Have you heard anything about the Emmy Awards? Uh, just that Game of Thrones won a lot of stuff. That's very true. That is very true. Did you see any clips from the Emmys, like see Game of Thrones win their stuff? Nope. Did you see any videos, like on the news or anything, about the Emmy Awards this past Sunday? Who still watches the news? Well, to be honest with you, I can't remember if the Emmy Awards are music or television shows. Nobody. We couldn't find anybody who had watched the awards. I talked to JMA professor Robert Healy about the Nielsen ratings decline. Um, yeah, I know before we started uh, our interview, we also mentioned the Video Music Awards are also down, which is, um, you know, in a way, not terribly surprising. Uh, it, the one thing, though, I noticed was the sheer numbers you mentioned. So although it's down, and I think the VMA numbers you shared with me, too, are also down, but there's still a very large audience there. But as to why they're trending down, uh, I think time shifting has a lot to say about that. Uh, those who study media would say that we, we call time shifting like any kind of digital video recorder device you would use to not watch a show live but watch it later. Um, you know, often the Nielsen ratings, for example, aren't necessarily factoring in with their full, what they would just call regular live ratings or live plus same day ratings. They're not counting those who have time shifted the program. Professor Healy added that broadcast and cable television aren't as prevalent anymore, especially to college students. Yeah, I think hand in hand with the DVR onset, right, the, the mass proliferation of digital video recorders, hand in hand with that is, are things like Netflix, you know, and um, Amazon Prime. I, I mean, I'm 33, I subscribe to both of them at home, so I can imagine those 18 to 22, not only do they subscribe, they're probably watching it, you know, in the elevator on their phones. So they, they don't need a TV in their dorm room. Yeah, so what would you rather have, right, the award or the advertising dollars? It's, it's tough, I mean, you know, last week tonight with John Oliver is one of the most important shows on television right now. I mean, he's doing important work, um, and he's being recognized for it. But at the end of the day, I mean, it, as he even mentioned in his piece on journalism, um, you know, people who are watching his, his skit or his bit on journalism from Wi-Fi they're stealing from the coffee shop below his office, you know, they're the ones who are almost part of the problem. He says, you're killing us. Watch our show live or subscribe to HBO. So his, his rating numbers are down, you know, I, I suppose from what they could have been 10 years ago. But he's still doing important work and he's being recognized, but he needs to find a way to, I guess, monetize, or his people, to monetize his programming for today's viewer. I mentioned that MTV's Video Music Awards also went down in ratings this year, despite the fact that pop music seems to be much more relevant than television shows honored during the Emmy Awards. I asked him why this is. You know, I think people who are fans of music are going to stick to the devices in which they can hear that music, and I think if they're going to if the producers of the VMAs, for example, if the, you know, the powers at MTV say we can get them to jump onto the television set now and watch these music performers and see these celebrities, I think they're maybe kidding themselves. I think they're going to deal with the same problem regardless of content. So it's not that the Emmys or award shows in general are any less of a big deal than they were before. It's just that it's harder for ABC and MTV to pull this generation of viewers to a live television broadcast when there's so many other forms of entertainment. An Ariana Grande fan didn't have to tune into the VMAs to hear Ariana Grande. They can stream her music for free. A Game of Thrones fan didn't have to tune in last Sunday to see their favorite Game of Thrones actors. They can watch that without commercials at any time. 
The Emmys are a night to celebrate television, and they are always a great reflection on the state of television. Like the Emmys, TV shows are still important and still popular, they're just being viewed in different ways. I'm Josiah Martin for The Duquesne Duke. Thank you for watching.